all students i hope you are doing fine i'm your english teacher ms aruj abdullah and today we are going to start our unit number 2 it's a poem and um, let's see what we are going to do so today we have lesson number 2 this morning is our history test it's a poem that's been written by ken nesbit he writes humorous poems for children he's an american and was born in 1962 so let's read it This morning is our hit is tweet test. I have pinned my notes inside my vest. Inside my coat I wrote my notes including dates and famous quotes. I have written more upon my hand that only I can understand. And in my socks and sleeves I stored my scribbled notes in secret code. I have written down so many names of winners of Olympic games of buildings people places too from Tennessee to Timbuktu. I have even copied down a piece of ancient rome and ancient greece plus everything from shakespeare's plays to who invented my own i came to school so well prepared i was nervous wasn't scared but here it is the history test i look inside my coat and vest to get the dates and famous quotes and i and find i cannot read my notes so much for shakespeare greece and rome i left my glasses back at home okay so before starting uh, the poem we should uh, basically know what the poem is about this poem is about a student a boy who seems to have a little low grip in uh, you know in history subject so what he does he scribble down some notes to cheat in the exam and what happens at the end of the poem would make you laugh so hard so let's start the poem this morning is our history test i have pinned my notes inside my vest vest is an un- an undergarment worn onto the upper body inside my coat i wrote my notes including dates and famous quotes i have written more upon my hand that only i can understand and in my socks and sleeves i store my scribbled notes and secret notes so what he says that he- I have a history test this morning and I have been a lot of notes inside my vest in vest is undergarment worn on the upper body so he said that I have pinned up the notes which I have written inside the vest and also the coat I wear inside the coat I wear he says that I have written the dates and famous quotes coast is uh, quotes are the good sayings he said I have written dates and quotes and I have written more upon my hand now if he says I have written more upon my hand that means that he can see his hand and stuff he has written on his hand while you know giving the exam it means that he has written so lightly and so roughly that nobody can even the examiner and other students cannot see that so the it seems that the student or the boy is too sharp and in my socks and sleeves i stored stored means when you store something you know when you add something my scribbled notes and secret code he says that i have also added my notes the ones i have scribbled down in my socks in secret code that they are written in such a way in such a form that they are secret codes of knowledge which only i can understand and no one else you know can understand that moving on to the second stanza i have written down so many names of winners of olympic games of buildings people places to from tennessee to timbuktu i even copied down a piece of ancient rome and ancient greece plus everything from shakespeare shakespeare plays to who invented maronies he says that i have i have scribbled down every note in secret code which only i can understand and on those scribbled notes i have written so many names of winners of olympic games of buildings of people of places you know of places like from tennessee to timbuktu now what is tennessee is a state in the united states of america and timbuktu is a city in mali he says i have written everything which i think the examiner would ask me i even copy down a piece of ancient rome and ancient greece he says that i have written down a piece on ancient rome what he means by ancient rome is that ancient rome is roman civilization from the found founding of italian city of rome in 18th century bc to the collapse of western roman empire in 5th century and also ancient greece which belongs to a period of greek history and often it is often called dark ages and shakespeare yes he's a great writer great dramatist of Eng- of the history of english literature you when when you will grow up you will you know you would read more of his stuff so for now we are only going to understand who he was yes 
So he says that I have written everything, you know, from Rome to ancient Greece and Shakespeare plays and also who invented madness. So after telling everything that what he has scribbled down on his notes and how he has, you know, uh, he, uh, you know, make them make all the scribble down, uh, scribble down notes hidden in his vest and socks and coats. He says that I came to school so well prepared. I was so well. I had written down every fact and every name, the name of every place. Okay. I wasn't nervous. I was not nervous. I was so confident that I would, you know, uh, get great marks in my exam. I wasn't scared. I wasn't scared, wasn't actions, wasn't confused because I had too much confidence in my scribble notes because only I could understand that nobody could else understood that. Here it is, the history test. I am on the table and I am going to give history test. I look inside my coat and vest to get the dates and famous quotes and I can and, fi and find I cannot read my notes. Put my hand inside my vest and inside my coat what I think that I cannot able to understand my notes. Why he you know he is not able to understand his his you know notes. So much for Shakespeare, Greece and Rome I left my glasses back at home. He says that I had I had done every effort to cheat in the exam, but I just forgot my glasses back at home. Now I cannot read even my cheating notes. So this is what happened at the end. I know that you must be laughing. So it's a humorous poem written by Ken's Nesbitt. So that's it. Okay, so now we are going to learn words meanings. The first one we have is quotes, that means good sayings. The second one we have is winners, means achievers, the one who wins the game. Third one is invented, means created, when you invent something which never existed at the initial place. Fourth one is pinned, pinned is put inside. Fifth is ancient, old. So let's move to the word sentences. The first one we have is socks. Wearing dirty socks is not a good habit. You should also remember this. Second one is copied. Ali copied a cartoon character. Third is secret. Never spread someone's secrets. You should never do this in life. Fourth is notes. I always make handwritten notes. This is very important. You know, when teachers give you additional information, you should also make handwritten notes and scribble down the information which does not exist in your notes. Fifth one is history. Pakistan's cultural history is very rich. So these are the words, meanings and sentences. I would recommend that you do and, you know, do the sentences on your own. Just don't copy that because, you know, it's all up to you and you should make the effort. So we have read the poem and tried to explain um, very well. I hope that you have understood the poem and we have already discussed words, meanings and sentences. All the short questions and long questions are there in your notes. So you are going to learn the question answers and MCQs from your notes. So the chapter is closed. I hope that you like the poem. Stay home, stay safe.